everyone, it's Tim Holt and it's the first Friday of the month, the month of December 2015, and you know what that means. It is time to announce, can you believe this, our final new distress color. But get ready for the fairest of them all. Introducing Candied Apple. This rich, delicious red is amazing. Whether it's going to conjure up the nostalgic memories of childhood and those sugary apples at the carnival, or a fairy tale that ends in happily ever after, you are going to love Candied Apple. And of course, it's available in the ink pad, re-inker, paint, stain, spray stain, and marker. So you think a red. Well, you know, a lot of you have guessed a red, which is great because it is much needed, but you have to see this red. This red is so vibrant and intense. And in fact, a lot of the colors in the new Distress palette have all been these really rich, intense versions of a color. So here you can see the ink pad and even watercolored out and the spray stain, the stain, you can see the marker and of course the paint and look and how rich and deep that red paint is. It's so good. So let's take a look at the lineup and see how that compares to all of the other colors. And like I said, there's there's several reds and you know throughout this whole launch of Distressed Colors, I think these comparisons have really been important to see how these new colors fit into the line. Well, at the top we have Fire Brick and that's of course uh, one of the dirtiest reds that we have in the line. Festive Berries, Festive Berries, now that is a very blue red, uh, really deep. We have Barn Door, Barn Door is a nice orange red, really great uh, kind of a barn wood finish. And then we have Candied Apple, and you can see really how rich and saturated that red is. It's amazing. And then, of course, the deep, dark aged mahogany that's kind of a, a wine color as well. So you can really see that Candied Apple is just that vibrant pop of red that was needed in the Distress line. But I wanted to share some other things and kind of show you a little different. Because it is red, I wanted to do some other comparisons. So if you love watercolor, um, this is just a swatch of the Distress marker so you can see how great at watercolors. Of course, we see Fired Brick and Festive Berries and Barn Door, and you can see all those watercolor to uh, a different shade. But in Candied Apple, it was really important that even when you watercolor with this, it stays that really bright, intense red, which is really nice. And then, of course, we see Age Mahogany. So to take it one step further, in addition to all the comparisons, I wanted to take it through one by one to really show you how it compares to each specific red. So here we can see Candied Apple, that's at the top, and this is Fired Brick. So you can really see the difference in that intense red to that dirty fired brick. Then we've got the next comparison. This is Festive Berries. And although this may look very similar, you can see here at the bottom, Festive Berries is definitely a bluer red. It's much deeper, you know, kind of that Christmas berry. And you can see Candied Apple is just that true, intense, really vibrant, saturated red. Then we compare it to Barn Door. And there again, Barn Door, we've got that kind of uh, yellow tone to that red, not nearly as saturated as intense as Candied Apple is on the top. So you can see that comparison. And then of course, Age Mahogany. Well, there's no real uh, similarities there, but we can really see a nice contrast, which would make really great uh, blends with that. So speaking of blends, let's get into that and show uh, the blends of colors. And I had a really good time with these blends because I wanted to show a lot of different colors with red. So here, this first one, we've got, um, Abandoned Coral, so that's gonna be the pink here with Candied Apple, and I really love this Abandoned Coral because that, of course, is that uh, pink color that we launched earlier this year, mixed with that deep red of Candied Apple, so nice. Uh, the next one, this is very tropical, really cool. So this is Wild Honey. Wild Honey is really one of those great colors that have kind of that orange-yellow hue. So Wild Honey mixed with Candied Apple, it is like a tropical sunset. Love that. Then, I mixed with a little Twisted Citron. I really wanted to see if I was gonna go for you know something real uh, bright and festive. This is nice Twisted Citron with Candied Apple, that nice punch of bright green. But I, of course, I needed to compare it to last month's color, which is Lucky Clover. I wanted to see that blend. And I knew that my blend in the middle would be very dark and muddy, but it's still a great uh, color. Maybe I wouldn't blend these with the spray, but I might use uh, the inks to kind of stamp with uh, to create a nice festive hue, festive balance. Then I wanted to compare it with some other blues and kind of blend that. So here we have Broken China, and Broken China is a nice uh, turquoise color, but when you blend it with that richness of Candied Apple, we get these really deep, deep purple tones. I thought that was really cool. So every time I do a blend, it, like, it leads me to my next blend. So this was the next one. The next one was, I wanted to go a little bit more vibrant, so I took Salty Ocean, mixed that with Candied Apple, because I wanted to see what if I had a bright blue and a bright red, and it really gave me a nice, rich purple again. And then because I kept seeing purples, I thought, well, let's blend it with a purple. So here I took Seedless Preserves. Now Seedless Preserves is a bright purple all on its own. It has a lot of reds in it. So it really is a beautiful red. I love kind of these wine tones that 
gets in there. I can name all sorts of different red wines that it mimics, but it's a beautiful blend, I think is really nice. Then I wanted to see, of course, how it worked with uh, a couple of neutrals. I did a brown and a gray, so I'll take you through each one. So this one, this brown, I did vintage photo, and I chose vintage photo because it is a reddish brown, so I really liked that blend. And I also wanted to see how this color was going to blend with hickory smoke. That would be our cool gray. And I really liked how this blended out. I thought this was a really uh, great background when I mixed that red with that cool gray. So it was really cool. So the blends were a lot of fun, but I wanted to also introduce something that's very, very exciting. So for those of you that have obviously been following, we have always released the mini the month following the color announcement, but this time Ranger has made it so great for the holidays that we are launching the final mini kit the same time this color launches. So if you've been collecting the minis all year and you have to wait that extra month to get them, you don't have to wait this time because these minis are also shipping with this new candied apple. So I think that's really exciting that if you wanna kind of finish your collection for the year, you're able to pick up that mini kit that has those final four colors that we've released. So I uh, just wanted to take you through and really show you because it is nice to finally see all 12 colors together. Of course, this was the palette that I, I came up with all along. So starting this in January, launching only one color, knowing all of these colors that would eventually come out all year, you can see that I really wanted to create a full palette for Distress. So it has a really nice, um, beautiful pink with that coral color. And then we've got a candied apple for our red, our orange is carved pumpkin. We have fossilized amber, twisted citron. We have that minty cracked pistachio, that really great true uh, lucky clover green the beautiful turquoise of Mermaid Lagoon, that really deep blue of Blueprint Sketch, our Wilted Violet, of course, our Ground Espresso, and of course, Hickory Smoke. So I hope you've really enjoyed this whole year of distress. Uh, I wanna thank all of you guys for your support and your excitement month after month for these new colors. It's been an amazing year. Thanks so much.